Onward and upward, let me just shimmy into the studio here. So first impressions of the Nike Wild Horse 6. Uh, but I did say on Instagram yesterday that I would do some mail time. So thank you to everyone who has sent in a box or envelopes. I will open I will open all of that at the end of this vlog. So uh, I don't want to do it at the beginning because I know you're here to watch first impressions of the Wild Horse 6. Okay, let me close the door to the studio real quick. Here we go, onward and upward. Oh, what a great day. Hope you're having a great day out there. Thanks for tuning in. Nike Wild Horse 6 time. So really the first trail shoot of 2020? I think it might be. Uh, I, I don't even remember. But bottom line, I'm excited to get back to the trails, back to uh, seeking out vertical. And you all voted on Twitter a couple days ago that this uh, would be my first trail shoe to review for 2020. So here we go. Oh yeah, and I will say that I'm gonna publish two videos today. The second one will be my comparison, my running shoe battle between the Wild Horse 6 and the Wild Horse 5, okay? This is the 2019 iteration, and let's just say it's completely new. They updated the shoe in a big, big way, and it's really, it's a neutral trail shoe, but it's really no longer a commuter shoe for me, and I'll explain that in the second video, okay? Stack height time, here we go, 30 millimeters in the heel, 22 millimeters in the forefoot for that eight millimeter drop inside the shoe, and we're looking at 10.5 ounces in men's size nine. And for everyone that doesn't use ounces, there it is on your screen in grams, all right? And in my size, we're looking at 9.5 ounces, okay? Uh, so very interesting to see the development uh, in the weight class for the Wild Horse 6. And moving on to the upper of the Wild Horse 6, it's a mesh upper, and maybe, arguably, the biggest update between the five and the six is that they have a brand new collar here wrapping around your ankle, what is basically mimicking a, a gator, but it's a built-in gator, and I was, frankly, very skeptical. Um, as far as the lockdown around the ankle, you all know, like, I'm a little skeptical, skeptical around, like, those booty-style uh, collars that wrap around your ankle, but this one actually was spot on. Like, I was very comfortable, uh, no rubbing, uncomfortable rubbing around the ankle, and I didn't, okay, so the idea behind a gator is to keep the rocks and the mud out, and at the end of yesterday's run, the first impression run, by the way, this is not my full review, uh, this is, it, I didn't have any rocks inside the shoe. So we shall see, we'll keep testing out, but uh, I'm pretty excited about this collar. Also, putting the shoe on, uh, you know how some shoes are really difficult to get on your foot? Like it's, a, it's, a, it's almost like a tug of war, pulling it on your foot. It was really interesting. Uh, the tongue of the, which is a gusseted tongue on the Wild Horse 6, like my, it just opens up kind of wide, more so than other trail shoes. And I was just thinking like, this is really thinking outside the box, but if you were in a, a long, long ultra race and you wanted to switch shoes in between and you wanted a smooth transition in that pier, in that uh, like switching shoes, I could foresee the Wild Horse 6 working out well for that because I don't know, it's just really easy to uh, put the shoe on, lace it up and get going again. Two more quick points on the upper is the heel counter. It has a little extra padding. You can't, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but it's got a little extra padding inside there to help your heel lock down into the shoe. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, everybody. It is a good, uh, I don't know, like, could they not put it in? They probably could have, but it felt really comfortable, that heel counter, because of that padding there in the back of the shoe. And then uh, the last point, pretty solid uh, lockdown over the midfoot. And there's a little extra padding on the tongue right here. So when you are lacing up, um, and you just don't want those laces to be cutting into the top of your foot. So that padding is appreciated, frankly, right there on the top of the tongue. So I like that. Oh, overall, a good upper there uh, on the Wild Horse 6. Solid work there, Nike. Moving on to the midsole, we've got React Foam through the midsole with an extra two millimeters of stack height. So that is appreciated, I must say. I noticed it immediately on uh, yesterday's run. Also, uh, in that midsole between, well, I guess between the midsole and the outsole, they do have a rock plate in there, just so you know, to avoid. So if you don't know what a rock plate is, it's uh, essentially a piece of hard plastic, which does add to the weight of the shoe, but if you step on a sharp rock, a really sharp root, it should help uh, protect your foot from basically getting a bruise or, uh, I've, I've done it before and actually it's crazy, but some trail shoes, you should really, if you're going into a running shoe store looking for trail running shoes, maybe one of the top points that you talk to the shoe rep about is, 
Um, do, does this trail shoe have a rock plate? Because not all trail shoes do. And if you are running on aggressive trails, and I should just mention, uh, talking about the outsole, this is definitely, it's an aggressive outsole pattern. Uh, Nike really updated. Okay, I'm trying not to talk too much about the Wild Horse 5, but uh, the outsole pattern is completely new. Basically, uh, less lugs on the outsole, but they're bigger, okay? Taller, taller height to the lugs, and they're just a wider lug pattern there on the outsole. Full rubber outsole, supposed to be abrasion resistant, and somehow, I don't know how, I've never heard of this before in my life, but somehow there's a, there's a coating on the bottom of this Wild Horse 6, like the type of rub, there's a coating over the rubber. I don't know all the science behind it, but it's supposed to be anti-clogging, meaning, and I must say, like looking at the shoe right now, like I said, I ran through some mud yesterday. Um, it's supposed to prevent mud from building up on the bottom of the outsole. So if you live in an area that is really muddy and you own the Wild Horse 6, maybe you could give us a little report down in the comments about whether or not mud is building and caking up on the bottom of your shoes. Moving on to the fit and the comfort. The fit, I went true to size, glad that I did. I will say though, I gotta keep testing. Stay tuned for after 50 miles. My, my toes, just for like a mile yesterday, they did go a little numb. And I think that it's probably because it was my first trail run in a long time, weeks and weeks and weeks. And so I, my legs and my feet were getting used to vertical climbing again. I'm not gonna blame it on the toe box uh, yet. We'll, again, we'll keep testing, but just keep that in mind that who knows? I, I don't think it's the widest toe box on the marketplace, uh, but overall fit true to size as far as the length of the shoe. And the comfort, amazing comfort through the upper. Oh, butter my bread through the collar. Butter my bread. And then the midsole, again, two millimeters of extra stack height does help. And I didn't, I'm seeing reports of people thinking that the shoe is a little unstable. I don't think, I didn't sense that at all yesterday. I was going through some pretty technical trails pretty fast as well, even on the downhills. And I did not feel unstable at all, even though the Wild Horse 6 does have a couple extra millimeters of stack height. And real quick, positive and drawback, positive, the combo of the collar and the tongue. That combo, everything going on right here on the shoe. Ep I really like it. I like the gator. I just like it. it. It's just very, very comfortable when you lace up. And then the drawback, it's gotta be that toe box. Just the fact that my toes went a little numb, a, a little concerning, but again, we'll see what happens after 50 miles. Uh, onto my durability prediction. I gotta say 500 miles. 450 to 500 at least. I don't know. I'm sensing this can go pretty far. Um, we, you know, 450 to 500 miles is my durability prediction. How will I use this shoe moving forward? I'm going to say early training block, aggressive trails. Okay, not buffed out trails, but more aggressive trails uh, is how I will use this shoe. And I say early training block because later in a training block, when I'm really getting close to that peak race, I'll probably opt for. Uh, a lower profile, even like the VJ shoe that is inside the house right now, uh, a lower profile stack height, something that's probably closer to that eight and a half to nine ounce um, weight class for for me. And who is this shoe best for? I'm gonna say someone who really appreciates comfort through the upper, okay? You don't like a trail shoe that feels a little rigid or a little, um, over yeah kind of overbuilt through the overlays like even yeah i don't know it's just a, it's very comfortable that's the bottom line so if you like that this is the shoe for you and for the price 97 dollars that is incredible from running warehouse but i have sad sad news for you they're basically sold out i think i saw size eight size nine maybe size nine and a half left. Like they're very, it's very slim pickings right now. It is listed down below. So I'm a little late to the game as far as doing a review of this shoe. So I do apologize. I don't know what to tell Well, I do know what to tell you. I did see many, many more sizes available from nike.com. So, but you're looking at $130 versus not. So I don't know if Running Warehouse is gonna restock it, but that is, uh, that's an epic price point, 97. Like I would pay, I would even pay, I would pay $130 for the shoe, absolutely. And there you have it, my first impressions of the Wild Horse 6. And again, later today, come back, running shoe battle, Wild Horse 5 versus Wild Horse 6. Okay, question of the day, what was your last 
trail run. Maybe it was two years ago, maybe it was six months ago, maybe it was yesterday, okay? Give us a good story down in the comments. What was your last trail run? Maybe you've never run on trails and the comments down below plant a little seed to think about, huh, maybe I should explore the trails, especially in the Northern Hemisphere as the snow begins to melt. Okay, here we go. As promised, we're gonna open up boxes. Uh, and first of all, this letter arrived yesterday and this is from a, a recipient of the $1,500 for the COVID-19 relief fund. And basically it's a custom made card with butter and bread on it. I love it. Thank you so much. You know who you are. Um, thanks for sending a card. We appreciate it. And it's just so cool that it's a homemade card. Okay, moving on here. Let's see. And my PO box is listed down below. Um, I don't do mail. I try not to do mail time all the time, but I do. we do appreciate the family. We appreciate, you know, People send stickers, t-shirts, um, running shoes for the running shoe giveaways, which I will announce the next one very, very soon. So anyway, here we go. Oh yeah, in fact, here we go right now. T-shirt time, okay, let's see. This is from Wolf Creek Race Management. Oh, it's a long sleeve, that is awesome. So they, Wolf Creek Race Management out in Pennsylvania, they did, uh, they helped me put on the virtual race. They, they basically did it all because I had never done one before. And so anyway, shout out. Thank you so much for the long sleeve. This is arriving from North Carolina, North Carolina. Here we go. Oh, mud gear. Okay. I don't know. Oh, that is cool. Some socks from mud gear. I've never tried mud gear. Have you tried mud gear? Let us know down in the comments. Ooh, those look pretty nice actually. Um, thank you so much. And a sticker from mud gear. Okay, moving on here. This is from Edgar, Edgar in New York, New York. Oh yes. Okay. So shout out to the East Harlem United runners. That is so cool. Oh, let me, let me put that on right now. Oh, so this is a run. I think this is a running club in New York City. How, how's it look? How's it look? Oh, those are sweet. Okay, this is from Edgar. He says, uh, thank you, Seth, to you and your wife. Here's a special gift from Destiny and hope you like it. The Buezo family. We run United 2020. Yes, we do. Edgar, that is so cool. East Harlem United Runners. We run United. That is awesome. I love, so everyone, um, if you're new to the channel, my mom is from upstate New York. That's where she grew up. So all my cousins, aunts, uncles live in New York. So I, New York is basically my second home. So I love New York City. I love the history. I love the culture. And so I love East Harlem now. Here we go, East Harlem. Shout out, I will run in this today. I will run in that today. Oh yeah, oh, speaking of Nike and trail shoes. So, oh, these are the Terra Kigers. Are these the fives or the sixes? I think these are the fives, I do believe. That is awesome, thank you for sending these. So these will go into the next, oh, there's some more trail shoes in there as well. Hi Seth, just want to say thank you for all your hard work and encouragement, great channel. Appreciate your work to help uh, COVID patients and families and there's a need, shoes included, find them a good home, that's awesome. So these are for the running shoe giveaway as well, which I, um, how about I say, what is today? Today is Friday. How about in uh, tomorrow's vlog, I will announce the next running shoe giveaway. I basically needed to get through the virtual race, get through the COVID-19 relief fund, uh, fundraising and all that, and then we will announce it tomorrow. So these will be for the next running shoe giveaway, the Wave Inspire 16 from Mizuno. Okay, I think that does it for today. I believe we opened everything. You guys are the best, you rock. Appreciate you, appreciate you, onward and upward, and I'm gonna toss it back to the uh, Nike, actually, no, 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 sorry. I'm gonna toss it to the uh, trail running shoe playlist. So if you're interested in all the trail running shoes that I've reviewed, especially in the last year, it'll be listed right there. Trail running shoes uh, over the past year. Right there, right there, right there, onward and upward. See you later today. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.